Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team Let's Play. It's a new recording session. I didn't have my emulator selected. Uh, now I do, so I can move around again. And I don't remember where we were last time, but there's some story going on already, so... At least some dialogue. I don't know if it's story, per se. Morning vlogger. <clears throat> also, I just had some food, so my throat is even less capable of doing proper voices than usual. <laughs> with a taste, uh, what's with the days confused look, huh? You've been having weird dreams? What sort of weird dreams? I'm now telling him about the, the, the dream. Hmm. Vlogger, you said you were really a human, right? So I was thinking, maybe those dreams have something to do with how you became a Pokemon. So let me ask you, Vlogger, what are you thinking? Do you want to go back to being a human? It's true. I haven't thought about it much, but do I want to become a human again? Do we? Would it just end the game? I'm not sure. Huh? What's wrong? You can't decide? Well, I guess so. It's a lot more fun hanging around with me. Shut up, Barry. Anyway, I promised we'd go to the Pokemon Square today, remember? We're supposed to uh, ask about... <clears throat> this is my whole throw thing I just talked about. Maybe don't record literally minutes after eating an entire meal. Because your throat will sound very, very gross. And the thing is, after I'm done recording, I always get hungry anyway, so I might as well just have not re eaten before recording, because I'm going to eat after recording again. Friends are my treasure. Welcome to the Wigglytuff Club, a circle of friends. Oh? This is your first visit here? Oh, I get it. You started a rescue team too, didn't you? You've come to the right place. I set friends areas to add members to your rescue team. Since you're here for the very first time, I'll give you two friend areas for free. Let's do it. Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff, let's be friends. Ta! Congratulations. Also, I didn't breathe for any of that. Congratulations. You now go to the wild place. Also to Mist Rice Forest. I think those are the two areas. Uh, one for Meowth and one for Squirtle. Right? You can now recruit Pokemon that live in those two friend areas. How do you recruit new members? Well, if you're finding a Pokemon that lived in the friend area, sometimes they will come to admire you as a friend because you beat them up. Yeah. In that case, they might ask to join your team. Just keep trying. Bzzz. You're giving friend areas away. Can also get access to the power plant friend area. I also want to join the rescue team. Okay, gotcha. I'm giving it away today. Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff, let's be friends. Ah, congratulations, you can now go to the power plant. Wigglytuff doesn't break, that's like the whole thing going on here, yeah, apparently. Yes, we can now join the team. Yay. Sorry. I know my friend turned down your offer to join the rescue team yesterday. But after mulling it over last night, my friend developed an overwhelming desire to become your team member. I apologize, but could you allow my friend to join your rescue team? I hope we can say no, just, just for the sake of it. Oh wow, don't forget... <clears throat> my throat. We were the ones that asked you to join our, uh, your friend... La, 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 la. We would ask, want to ask, that's pretty much what's saying. So yes, that would be awesome! I wanted to say no. Glad to have you a uh, friend on board. Alright, good on you. Do your best and try to uh, not to hinder the rescue teammates stuff. Also, I'm finally rid of you, so I can now have the house all to myself. Yeah, I will do my best. Also, we sound exactly the same, so this is a little bit confusing. We also have the same icons and the same names. Huh. What do you know? Magnemite became a team member. Give Magnemite a nickname? Of course, it's not a Nuzlocke, but we're still going to nickname every, uh, everybody. And you're going to be... I'm not very good at nicknames. I, I should say. I um, but Magnemite is... Uh... You know what? You know what? We're just going to go with... Uh... I was going to do something with Attract, but... How do you even change the word Attract into a name? Kind of, I guess. Pulse, as in like, 
electromagnetic pulse, but also because it sounds a little bit like pool, if you, depending on your accent. So, Pulse the Magnemite joins the team. And now you actually have a name, thank you. I'll be resting up in the power plant, friend area. If you want me along for a rescue, come get me at the power plant. Okay. We will do that, just to have some more Pokemon on our team. You can go to the friend area and talking to the love, taking the love path from the rescue team base. Also, I'm now talking very quickly as well as not breathing. We're not going to keep that up because I'm going to screw that up big time. There's a sign on the path to the left of your rescue team base, so you shouldn't have any trouble finding it. That's all the giveaways today. If you want more friend areas, you'll have to buy them from now. Can we buy any more? Friends are my treasures. Welcome to the Wigglytuff Club, our circle of friends. You'd like to add uh, to your friend areas? Which ones? Okay, so there's quite a lot of them I can buy. Um, wow. It's actually a lot of them we can buy. I want to get pretty much all of them. <laughs> it's the thing. And there's going to be like a lot more as well. Uh, some of them you get through... Story. There we go. Huh? What's going on over there? It seems like there'll be a little bit of commotion. Please help my friend. Please, I need help. Forget it. We're not about to work for that. But my friend needs a gust of wind. Please. Hey, what's up? Oh, that's in there. Jumbluff's begging for a rescue mission, but not finding any luck. I'm here. I are you just ignoring me? See that guy? Yeah, the one in the middle with the pointy nose. They all three kind of have pointy noses. I would even say that the Nuzleaf have more pointy noses than Shiftray. They're shorter, but they definitely come into a sharper point. He's a Pokemon named Shiftry. He's got his own rescue team. But his team's greedy. They don't work unless they get paid royally. Jumpluff's been begging for help, but I feel sorry for that poor Pokemon. Wait. Oh, it's Alakazam. What, what do you want? Oh, it's Alakazam. Is that Alakazam? I don't know who's saying this. I don't know whose voice to use. Hey, rather cold-hearted, aren't you? To save Jumpluff's friend? Where the strong wind is needed. Your leafy fans can whip a powerful winds. An easy matter for you. Also, my brain is growing as we speak and it's going to explode out of my skull. Read the Pokédex. It's an easy matter for you, helping that Pokémon out. Why are you afraid of an Alakazam? You're a dark type. I mean, be afraid of the Charizard at least. Okay, we'll do it. I don't think... Th th that way is just a waterfall. I don't think you should go there. I, I, j just saying. Hey, who are those guys? <clears throat> <coughs> Throat grossness. What? You don't know? It's Alakazam's team. They're the most famous rescue team around these parts. That's Charizard. His flamethrower can melt mountains. Kinda doubt it. That's Aranitar. He takes great pride in his armored body and amazing strength. That's the leader, Alakazam. Alakazam doesn't like physical attacks. He fights with his psychic powers because his physical attack is actually shit, so of course he doesn't. He's endowed with an amazing brain with an IQ of 5,000. I mean, if you're going to go there, at least make it 9,001, just so that I can laugh. Apparently, he's memory, uh, memorized everything that's happened in the world. Even the things apparently he wasn't there for, because not everything that's happened in his life knows everything that's happened in the world. Alakazam does all the commanding in the team. He's clearly in charge. Th th thank you! No need for thanks. It's only natural that you get help. If anyone turns you down again, come see me. Take care. I remember... Like, Team Alakazam also being a little bit ash um, asshole-ish, though. It's, it's the thing. Maybe I'm misremembering this. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, what am I gonna do for Charizard's voice? Um, what's up? It's fine. Nothing. Not to go. I'm gonna have to come up with a Tyranitar voice as well, and 
Uh, th th there's so many voices in this. See why I didn't want to do this to begin with? I mean, I'm enjoying myself, don't get me wrong, but it's not my strong point. Oh, that was scary, jeez. Cool. Cool. Okay. Uh, Flogger, that's uh, what we've got to become. Let's get more members and make our rescue team first class. And well, we have the introduction of Gengar as well, so everybody's just getting shoved in our faces. Exposition galore. Not if I can help it. <laughs> why do you already hate us? I mean, I know why, but I don't think you know why. Spoilers. Okay, so I think today we're actually going to go into a uh, rescue mission because we've been at this for 12 minutes and nothing has happened yet. Well, there's been a lot of story, but nothing like action-based has happened yet. Also, um, last episode, two episodes ago, which was the first episode here, maybe not even in that. I don't remember. In one of the episodes recently, I told you about like the desync that happens with my voice uh, and, and the cam. That wasn't fixed. So I'm just going to have to manually uh, keep doing that. I'm going to Google for a fix because it, it's real annoying. I check mail. Can't get out. Mount Steel floor eight. Uh, let's accept and let's see if we have any more things in Mount Steel. Because if we're going to Mount Steel, especially if we're going to floor eight anyway, uh, we might as well just try to see if there's any more jobs in Mount Steel, which uh, there's a couple of them. Hasn't come back. Let's accept it. Where am I? Hasn't. Um, twice. Okay, so we have four jobs in Mount Steel at floor five, six, seven, and eight. So that's going to be... Um, I don't know what the rewards are going to be for any of these. I mean, they're going to be five rescue points each, so that's 20 rescue points, I think. And then it's going to be a little bit of money and... Oh, I, I wanted to bring... I wanted to bring pulls up. We're going to start bringing pulls starting next episode, okay? Eventually, Pulse is going to be useless anyway, because there's going to be a point in the game where we can't bring team members for, like, a significant portion of the game, and then when we come back, everything's, like, 10 levels lower than we are. So, um, yeah. Everything we, like, get now is only going to be useful for the first half of the game, and then the second half of the game we're going to have to, bu uh, boy, build a new team anyway. Spoilers. I did not drop off any of my items. I am a little bit stupid sometimes. Not that it matters too much, but it's just a good thing to... Well, it really doesn't matter. It's just a good habit to build, right? After every single dungeon, you go to the Kangaskhan storage, drop off all the items you don't need, and then go into the next dungeon with a little bit of a cleaner inventory, especially since I don't have a very big toolbox yet. I think the toolboxes get bigger as you go. That might only be in the sequel, so that might not be a feature in the original games. I don't know. I think when you, like, rank up to the next rank uh, after having done enough missions, I think you get a bigger toolbox. Aaron was found. So that's the first mission done. You see how quickly this can go? Uh, don't actually leave the dungeon. Continue your adventures. Yes. I always have to focus when... Uh, Petrify Orb could be good. I'm not going to bother with it right now because monster houses aren't really a thing yet. But they're going to be. And they're going to be the end of me. Because I just use Growl. I just use Growl. That, that, that's annoying. <laughs> can I? Like, no, I didn't. Oh, I can make a set move. Um, oh, and then... Oh, and yeah, we can... And then set this move. And I think then when we use R and attack... No. There is a way to... Um, to use the move you set as like... Just without going into the menu. I don't know what it is. Is it... I, I, I don't remember what it is. I'll probably have to look into that. I don't need to info about what stairs are. Thank you very much. So every floor from now on is going to be a destination floor. And after we finish up all our missions, uh, yeah, probably uh, let, uh, let Barry take care of this one. Why would you use withdraw? Why? 
Why would you ever think that's a good idea? I mean, tackle wasn't a particularly great idea either, but at least it did something. I learned bite. Okay. Never mind. I'm happy. Um, yeah. Let's use bite. It still doesn't do a lot. I mean... It might have been... It probably was resisted, right? Yeah, because steel typing. Steel typing is a bitch. It resists everything. Um, do I... Okay, so it's uh, holding L and attack. Um, let you do your selected... Uh, your set move, that's what it's called. And when you have everything linked up, of course, you'll do everything uh, in a row. We won't be linking up any th uh, any time, anything anytime soon, because I want to build, like, a better uh, moveset. And if you replace one of the moves with either a TM or just a learn set move... Uh, you get to relink everything, and that costs quite a lot of money. Uh, Barry, could you please not go ahead and kill yourself? I would be very happy if you would survive. Uh, you have plenty of HP. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You keep using withdraw. Just kill them. Okay. There's one more. Just kill it, because this is going to be the last turn we have here. Or use more withdraw. That also works, apparently. Because why not? Oh, this is going to be a rather short floor, isn't it? We've already found Pidgey. And then... Also the stairs. <laughs> Might be literally the shortest floor in the entire, like, history of mankind. Floor 8 is going to be the last floor. So this is the kind of thing uh, which we're going to have to do quite a bit between episodes sometimes. And I think I'm just going to skip through that and do it off screen. Maybe I'll do like a grinding montage kind of thing, but I don't know what I would do during those, right? Because uh, these parts are real good for like just having a little bit of bantering. Uh, white gummy. I think that's actually the gummy that's good for my typing. So let's eat it. Yeah. Uh, efficiency Expert, I think, uh, allows you to use a move sometimes without using any PP, which... That's actually a pretty good ability. So yeah, the way the gummies work, in case you don't know, is there's a lot of different colors of gummy. And uh, some gummies... Uh, also, there's also like grass gummies, but also green gummies. I, I don't really know what the difference is between those. I think grass gummies are just more rare and give you even more IQ. But if you eat a gummy which corresponds with your type color, like white and normal, or um, blue and water, you get a significant boost in IQ. And if you max out your IQ, you get a ability which lets you break through walls, which is very overpowered. Also takes up a lot of hunger. We'll get into the hunger mechanic when we get into the longer dungeons. Uh, it's going to be an issue. That's what the apples are for we found throughout the last couple of episodes. Why am I explaining this to you? Because everybody's already played this game. Everybody knows what this game is, right? I mean, this is not the first time you're seeing this game. This is not the first time I'm playing this game. This is a very well-known game. <laughs> just in case you're new, I I'll try to keep just explaining things. But I feel like it might be slightly unnecessary. A Revival Seed. I don't know how many I already have, but I feel like I have like five of them, and this is only episode, what, three? This is going to be a good series. I'm going to use all of them before too long, I feel. So, the next morning. Any more story? Any more story? Morning, let's keep up the good work today. This is the place? This is the place where the team named Bob is based? Okay, so it's team Nemesis, I think. There's nothing here. Impressing, isn't it? <laughs> Who'd run a rescue team from a dump like this? Unbelievable! What's with you? Oh, over there, a mailbox. <laughs> Check it out. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Yes, rescue job offers. Oh la la, isn't that rather tasty? Also, I don't know why... Okay, that might be a very, very racist accent. <laughs> I don't know what to do with many charm, okay? We'll have them all. Also, my... Why do I keep changing voices and accents? Anyway. Hey! 
Those rescue j jobs were meant for us. Don't butt in. <laughs> Doesn't matter who does it. We're a rescue team too. We're a rescue team. We're a rescue team too. We're a rescue team too. I don't know what to do with Mighty Chan. This is gonna be a thing for the rest of the series. I'll have you know. But we, uh, uh, all we uh, get up to is no good. Wanna know how it works? If we have to cover for other, uh, um, let's redo this. I I'm thinking too much about the voices, not enough about the actual dialogue. Wanna know how it works? If we cover as a rescue team, we can get away with so much more. We have our eyes on world domination. World domination? <laughs> you heard it right. That's why we're ranking in a uh, ranking, not ranking. Well, if you're ranking up, also you get more respect and you can get away with more, I guess. Ranking in cash, adding to our gang. The world will be ours. The rescue team of evil, Team Meanies. Oh, Nemesism explores the sky. Yeah, it's who we are. See you around. <laughs> well, wait. D they took off. What a bunch of creeps. Uh, it's Auntie. I'm a little bitch. Those guys clean it out. But we didn't get a well up a post office yet. Let's drink to that. Because holy crap, that Gengar voice is not good for my throat. And that Maddie Chan voice is just not good. Period. We looked out. Pelop has brought us some more mail. We can go back to rescuing. But those guys, they're not getting away with any of this next time I see him. You're a squirtle. Can't get out. Mount Steel once again. Because we didn't just go to Mount Steel. Couldn't you mail us a day earlier so I would have been able to pick you up with all the other useless misfits on the way? I wouldn't be good as an actual like rescue team member. Uh, okay, so this is the only... Okay, question being right now. Is it worth it to go to... Hmm... I don't know. Because we could go to Tiny Woods or Thunder Wave Cave. Let's go to Tiny Woods. Let's accept all of them, actually, because we're going to probably end up doing all of them anyway. Uh, we're going to Tiny Woods today just because I think we just need to skip a day for the story to move forward. We don't actually need to, like, get points yet, so... Let's go to Tiny Woods because it's a nice short dungeon. We're 23 minutes into the episode and... Not a lot has happened yet, granted, but that, that's just the nature of this game. Sometimes we'll have very long dungeons uh, where we'll... I was confused there for a second. I thought, like, what's Pulse? What Pulse is the name I gave to the Magnemite literally 20 minutes ago. Um, uh, can you please... Will, will you allow me to go back to Bob Team Bay? I don't know why it didn't allow me to do that for the longest time. Um, and sometimes we'll have more dialogue based episodes and especially early on in the game the dungeons are that long so the dungeons are going to be well relatively little screen time compared to the rest of the game which is a lot of reading. Uh, things are going to balance out more around like episode 10 or so I would guess and uh, that's going to be good because right around that time uh, dungeons are going to start being split into two parts and dungeons are going to start being longer than like 10 floors each up to like 15 or 20 floors each and then we have like five more floors uh, of the second part of a dungeon and altogether it'll be like 20 to 25 floors and late game dungeons will be even more uh, allowing us to just sit back and, and relax a little bit, be annoyed by the fact that Barry can't do anything properly for us and uh, just all together have a good time because as much as I like to no, I don't want to leave. Yes, okay. Again, th those menus, they, they mess with me. It's the same as learning a new move in um, in the main series Pokemon games. And they changed the menu options for that on like generation 6 or 7. And that messed with me so much. So much! The changes to the way I would have liked it to be where uh, if you just mash B, I believe. I don't know. At least you don't have to go for, like, the top one and then the bottom one. They, they changed the phrasing of it so that it's just no-no, rather than no-yes. 
these menus still do like the, the, the no yes thing and all the generations of Pokemon also do that and it, it annoys me. Because even when you want to leave, it asks you do you really want to leave and the default is no and if you... You can get stuck in an infinite loop there. Very easily. Either way, whether you want to leave or whether you want to stay, it's just... You have to think about the menu thing. I never get used to it. That's my rant for today. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's your reward. 100 Poke. Also, Gravel Rock 10. Toolbox is full. 5 rescue team points. Do you give us a little bit more money? Probably not. You're literally a kid. Alec kid. Gravel Rock 10. Not even any money. Screw you too. We did good today. Let's uh, knock it off and what... I hope I read that wrong or interpreted that wrong because uh, I do believe this is a PG, th uh, like PG-13, I was gonna say. No, 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 I think this is like rated E for everyone, right? So that's like three plus in Europe. So I don't think that's really... Uh, also, I don't want to think about... Uh, no, no, just, just no. We already have a guard for in this game, okay? That's... And there was like, there's like a thing, but we'll see when we get to that part of the story. Morning Vlogger, let's keep up the good work today. Vlogger, Barry! Huh? Who's that? Oh, it's Ketopy. Oh, if it isn't Ketopy, long time no see. It's literally been like an hour of game time. Please, please help my friend. I forgot my voice for Ketopy, but this is gonna be it from now on. Changed halfway through that sentence, huh? What's wrong? I was playing with my friend Metapod, but Metapod got lost in the woods, uh, and he's still lost out there. Oh, I see, I see. That does sound bad. Oh, that 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 was Gengar. Hey, not you again! Have no fear. We'll um, we have to save the chum Metapod. Hey, get up! He came to us for help. <laughs> Do you think uh, this rescue is something for amateur level rescuers? What? It doesn't matter who does the rescuing. See. I was gonna say, isn't it something Team Shift reset? But no, that's definitely something Gengar said literally just the morning before. A guy that does the rescuing gets to be the hero. Listen, Canopy, how about we do this? How about uh, you give us a reward for the team that brings back your chump first? But I... I don't have any money. Oh, don't worry about that, my little friend. I'm sure we can persuade your partners to reward us with... an... interest afterward. Th this sounds just... What's with me? Okay, it's either me being like real weird about this, or it's this game being like just the way it's written. Oh yeah, you can join our team. This is an offer you can't refuse. When you join this canopy, you'll be a big will and team mainly. <laughs> That's the deal, Barry. The first rescue wins. Come on, move. Let's get this done already. I really hope the Team Meanies doesn't play a big role in the game, because I'm gonna have to change my Gengar voice. Don't worry, we'll save your friend first. Also, just got an... Oh, that's, that's my PSN. I was gonna say, I just got an email that I paid Sony for something, but that's, of course, PlayStation. Yeah. Vlogger, let's roll, and quick! Uh, we will! Next episode, until then... Did I even start recording the camera? I didn't even check. Oh, let me check. Because otherwise it might be... Yeah, I did. Okay. Until the next time, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this very full of dialogue video. I, I, I prefer the balance to be a little bit more towards gameplay. But the game just won't let me do gameplay. We're going to have a little bit of gameplay next episode. Because we're going to go into a new dungeon. We're going to... I think beat up Team Meanies, and there's going to be a little bit of dialogue there. And I think after that we... I don't know what happens, frankly. So, I'll see you all next time. Bye.